there's a red bat there under this tree branch. What are you doing, mother? What are you doing out under this tree? Well, I read on Wikipedia that the New South Wales, a New South Wales report anyway back in the 19th century said that Aborigines made a sort of broth out of redback venom and certain snake venoms and pine gum to make uh, poison to put on their spears. I don't know if they would have used them on animals or, or for, uh, for uh, well, like weapons of defence. You know, there's a red bat in the shed. Not doing much, is she? Don't want to disturb her too much. So, apparently they were made into a broth of, well, I suppose it would have been mashed red backs and uh, mashed snake venom. They didn't say what sort of snake. I'll leave a link in the sidebar. And also, yes, a bit of pine gum. I wonder what sort of pine they meant. Did they mean the native calitrus? which is what we call native cypress pine. That might have been what they used. Or well, they might still use it, I don't know. Whoops. Let's go and look at another red back anyway. I'm always learning new things online. I didn't know that our first people used spider venom and snake venom as a poison to put on spearheads. It's very interesting. <sighs> well, there's a redback spider there. She's been there for weeks, hasn't she? And she's still hatching and doing her thing. <sighs> yes, a bit of movement. Nothing like a video without any movement. So, Let's go and look at the cypress pine, or the native pine tree that the first, our first people might have used as uh, to make the snake, uh, snake and spider venom uh, uh, spearhead poison, just for interest. Other peoples around the world have been known to use poison arrows and things, haven't they? Like, is it curare and everything in uh, South America? Anyway, let's go and have a look at some pine trees and a little snake too, to remind us of the venoms that our first people made use of. There's Mrs. Redback. That's by torchlight, by the way. This is, this is Calitrus. It's uh, either, a, I can't remember if it's a white cypress or a black cypress, but it's a sort of native pine. There aren't too many native trees that look like pine trees. This is one. And it's, uh, is it white cypress or black cypress? Anyway, yes, it's got nuts on it and everything. This is a native pine tree of some sort. Let's have a look at the gum that it exudes where it's damaged or cut. There's some gum just there. It's a bit like amber. I think it's got an ant stuck in it. Let's see if it's still soft. No, it's gone. It's gone hard. It's gone hard. I'll just see if I can make a little cut without cutting myself. See if it bleeds. Just for interest. There's lots of ants here, as if they might be eating the the gum or something. I don't know what they're doing. We'll come back in a little while and see if there's any bleeding. I'm no botanical expert. What was meant 
what was made by pine, by native pine tree. This is a casuarina tree. I call it a pine tree. It looks like a pine tree, doesn't it? I mean, what did they mean when they said the uh, venom of the redback and the snake was mixed with, with pine tree gum? What sort of pine did they mean? Listen to the casuarina whistling, soughing. It even drops needles everywhere. It even drops needles everywhere. What was meant by pine pine tree, native pines? What was meant by that? It should be poison, shouldn't it? What's it eating? What's it doing? Is it eating ants or something? My mother had one of those crawl in her bag once. Just as well she saw it go in. She pulled it out by the <laughs> She pulled it out by the tail. Is that a yellow something whip snake as I've been told before? Well, how close can I get?